two of them for breakfast and the rest for lunch. Mm -hmm. Well, we've done that. Usually I have more stuff so I can try to keep them hand and see. Yeah. <coughs> around the, my, I've got keys to my grill keys. I have, I have, I've got You know, you should try the grilled tuna cheese mm -hmm. sandwiches. I've done that. Yeah, I've done that. You know, if you have one of those big old bells that with the handle you ring it, and you just hear those. <laughs> I think you're right. But I say your eyes have been saying me 10 minutes. So I'm kind of up. <coughs> Excuse me. He would be able to look at these eyes. Oh, 10 minutes. Better go in. I walked out to where I, I thought he saw me and he kind of waved at him, but I don't know. He saw him. He's our neighbor, Tran. So maybe he's not going to take one straight. Oh, crap. Who can he jump in his crib? Appreciate you guys hiring me to do this. Yeah, and that's kind of nice to have to do the work with. Yeah. Especially a big guy like me. Yeah. If you need help removing some like tree branches or something, I can mm -hmm. do that. Also, I know a guy that has like uh, a tree trimming service. If I, I don't have a flyer, but I do have a phone number. Mm -hmm. His name is Travis. Mm -hmm. And he goes to uh, Mormon Church, I think. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, sorry about that. And he goes to the Mormon Church, and sometimes he'll. Like, see, if I had a business card for him. Yeah. Sorry, I got hiccups for some reason. I forgot sometimes uh, to fish with it to me a lot. Uh, but anyways, if I had a flyer and I give you to it, but he mm -hmm. gives me like a, a percentage on it. Oh, so it's amusing. Well, yeah. that's, that's nice of him to do that. Because, you know, now who do you live with? You said your grandma passed away, so who do you live with? I live with my Uncle Dave. Your uncle? Okay. Like nearly 10 13 years ago. Mm -hmm. I used to live with my grandma until my early teens. Mm -hmm. Then my uncle took me in because my first ever female provider treated me like crap. Mm -hmm. She is my friend. I know you guys don't like me saying that first, but I'm going to try not to say it as well. Yeah. They, they, they treat you well. Yeah, and she, uh, I do not know until like my adopted mother D told me so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was kind of heartfelt, like you know. Well, I realized he treated me like money, uh -huh. and also the last provider before I moved back with Uncle Dave treated me like that too. Not all people are what they should be. Yeah, I heard praying for for them and forgive them. It's like it's the same. Yeah. But sometimes I know it's in my heart basically to forgive them, but here comes where I would say forgive and forget. So you forgive them and you forget all about it. That's well, what I used to do. You kind of have to, otherwise it can cause you harm to yourself. Gary, yeah. unforgiveness makes it not feel good. Yeah. Here's the truth, no fact about myself. I'm used to pain, like, you know. Yeah. You can't hurt what's already <laughs> hurt. Sometimes it's like, you know, it's like easy for me to just, like, you know, my feelings don't get hurt as much sometimes, except for. I believe and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, decided to come to dinner. I thought you were going to call me. I did. Well, did I answer? I she saw you talking to the neighbor. Oh, waved at you. Looked right at me. 
Well, I wasn't walking all the way back out 